Today we meet a man. Let's call him Joe. Joe has fallen on hard times and made a few mistakes. He committed a felony and was sentenced to five years in prison. In the past, an offender such as Joe would have entered a system with a limited ability to assess his individual risks and needs and his readiness for change. Today, Joe enters a correctional system with an increased focus on rehabilitation and restoration that begins with evidence-driven assessments designed to identify criminal risk factors related to Joe's personal history and characteristics that can be addressed through programs and services. This system applies the right tools to help Joe positively adjust and lead a successful, productive life once released. As Joe arrives at a Department of Corrections facility, he progresses through a reception schedule with a risk and needs assessment process that includes an interview with a classification officer and a tablet-based self-assessment hosting an array of personal history, thoughts, and attitude. This assessment process will provide information to determine Joe's readiness for change, risk factors, program needs, and transition needs. This is CNUS, the Corrections Integrated Needs Assessment System, designed and built by the Florida Department of Corrections. During reception, the Florida Department of Corrections will evaluate Joe's needs in eight different areas associated with his likelihood to reoffend. These eight areas are social awareness, relationships, substance use, family, wellness, thoughts and attitude, employment, and education. All the latest research proves that assessing these needs and providing programming that meets those needs improves Joe's possibility of returning to a life that creates value, not more crime. The result of Joe's answers is a case management plan that matches his personal risks and needs to rehabilitative programs and services. The plan will travel with Joe and be periodically updated throughout his incarceration. Joe will receive programming and services that improve his chances for successful transition back to his community. Over the next five years, Joe will continue to be evaluated as he completes the programs in his performance plan. When Joe is 12 to 18 months from returning home, he begins to develop a transition plan with his classification officer that sets a course to successful restoration to his community. By equipping Joe with the skills necessary to create value in society, he now has a roadmap to achieve success, which links him to partners such as career source, state and local agencies, community providers, and other available services. The day has arrived, Joe's release date. Joe has supervision to follow his release, so CNIS data collected during his incarceration is relayed seamlessly to community corrections. In addition, Joe is provided with a copy of his case management plan, containing up-to-date transition referrals and information regarding CNIS assessment and completed programs and services that address core and CNIS domain transition and other areas of need. This ensures continuity of aftercare services that reinforces Joe's success at starting a new productive life. Throughout CNUS, information to support a reduction in repeat arrest is collected and part of a larger project called Continuum. This data enables the Department of Corrections to provide a beginning-to-end continuity of services that supports individuals like Joe. 
Innovative efforts like CNIS continue to separate Florida as a national leader in correctional practices.